Right, let's do it then. The last point of the show is my ugly point. And remember, you always have to remember, the last category is not bag, it is ugly. So I, I've purposely picked this one. It's going to sound mad though. I can tell I'm already going to trigger so many people when I say this one. My actual ugly point is the news that complexity has extended a bunch of the contracts in the team. You're all good. What? Here's why it's ugly, but not bad. It's not bad because like the team has performed. Like the team, I have to say, I don't normally believe this concept's a thing, but if you're a, a little team like the complexity lineup, most of the players do not get paid massive salaries. No one had any expectations in CS2. And by the way, they could straight up have just won that IEM Sydney event. And they've been in the mix at a bunch of the events. Like they have performed way above the level I thought. So in a sense, I do think some of these players have sort of earned, you know, a chance to keep playing for complexity. My problem is just this. This is why I put it as ugly. I do think if you saw the way so far Elise has played in CS2 and you consider you've still got plenty of spots in this team. Like you could just remember if you switch halls up for a different AWPA, that could even be an import player. It's just another fucking import, import for import. And you can put another import player. I just think this is the ugly part. I think with how good Elise looks so far in CS2, sign a couple of these players, but let's can't we just get like one really good player and put him in this squad? Like, I think this team is one piece matchy being really good. Like, not just like a good team and Elise can put... They, they're not that far from actually being like a, a real elite team. And so uh, the bummer for me is just the idea they're doubling down this lineup. I, I just want one more star. Give me one more star and I think you could do something with this team. I, I get, think... Yeah, sorry. Go for it. Go for it. Go okay. for it. Um... Like, my personal opinion is I think it's hard for a team in this position to make a change like that with the success they've had recently because it's the first time they've ever had this level of success. And to go into, like, a boardroom and be like, hey, we're going to, like, change the dynamic of the team now. And they've also been together a long time, and I know all of them pretty well. And, you know, they're pretty close as right. well, right? So it's like the second you start messing with that, like, team environment that's built over time and it's not something you can just like replicate and like you could bring in a new player and they could on paper be a lot better than the player you replace but they could also just like ruin the team atmosphere wise and then like, now everyone's production's lower because now that whole like everything's changed um obviously like hopefully the scouting isn't that bad where that would happen but it's a possibility so it's just they're they're kind of in a position where they probably just don't want to spend big money on like a huge pl big name player and risk losing what they have at the moment. Where are you at Maui? Yeah, I, I, I think the, if I, if I do just think about it on paper, I would say that the obvious place to change is probably Halzer. He wasn't, I mean, he wasn't necessarily bad, but it's just that there's so many people. You that just think if you put a really good opera in though, what it do to this team, you know, it's, it's that, but also the fact that when you have a liege grim and floppy, you have an America's RMR spot. So that's why, to me, they're a bit more irreplaceable. Uh, and JT has proven himself to me to be a very solid engagement. No, he's leader, under he's so. under stay of execution for sure. Yeah, and he he also just seemingly got a boost as an individual once yep. he switched to CS2. Like his fragging output is just it's legitimately kind of like an X factor for them in game. So like those four to me feel like they're really good. I, I, I'm kind of in between you guys, I guess. Like I, I feel like with, with Daps, like, you know, you're, you're saying, you know, you could ruin the chemistry and everything like that. I feel like when I do, when I, the thing is, when I actually think about this individual case, Halzerk has been a good guy for motivation in some respects. Like you could see, like th this is one of the few teams where you watch Halzerk and it's just like, you could see he, he wears his emotions on his sleeve. Like he is so animated all the time. If he's losing, he's pounding the table and it seemingly like noticeably frustrates Grimm next to him. But ever since the joined, I feel like the dynamic and the mentality of the team has gotten a lot more professional, a lot more stabilized. But before it was like, man, Halzerk, game to game, you don't know if this guy is going to be popping off and motivating everybody or he was going to actually make Grimm fearful that the table next to him is going to fall apart because he's just slamming it so many times. So I feel like, you know, you're right. You're right. Like, you know, you can change the team dynamic and it can ruin everything. But like of anybody that was probably kind of the like standout person for like well emotionally if you could change somebody who would it be it probably would still be Halzerk and he's kind of the player you would replace too but I also think that he's been serving his like he's been doing his job on this team just enough but we just see I so mean he was playing offers. he was playing really well for a while and I yeah. mean I also made that point 
uh, with the context of like, I don't think they can get the offer that you would want to like fill this like situation. No, he's on your team. He's on your team. <laughs> like, like okay. you would want OC, well, obviously. I'm just, I'm just saying, like, besides OC, there's not an offer where I see them being able to either afford them or that offer would. Even well, no, you, look, you, you'd have to be, you're probably like, gambling on like a tier 1.5 European player that you're going to have to scout. Yeah, you would, you would have yeah, to. Yeah, and then true. it's like, is that person even better than Halzer at that point? And he probably has less experience. And it's just like, in in my opinion, looking from the outside in, it's just not worth them changing anyone at the moment un until they start like dropping a bit more if they do see more cool funny interesting clips based on topics from my content well subscribe to this channel then or you know be a pleb and don't